Hello cyclists, welcome. Today I'm super excited because I brought you a bike fresh from the 3D printer. It's the Platzhirsch from German bike manufacturer Urban. It was so much fun for me to prepare this review and test ride this bike because as you can see it is very very special concerning the design because something is missing yes there is a tube missing and in order to realize this very special design Urban had to came up with a very special production method and this frame comes out of the 3d printer well, parts of it. The rest of the parts are tubes from a German manufacturer. So the bike is printed in Germany and the tubes come from Germany. And that gives me a really good feeling because the sustainable side guys, if you ask me, should be to produce where the bike is written. So Urban is really considering how can the bike be produced and assembled to give not only them but also you the feeling to ride a really sustainable bicycle. It is a steel frame, so then you would think, well, how is that possible? Well, it's a very special method how the parts are printed. I don't want to go too much into detail, but check out the Urban website. There you have more detailed information. It weighs only 14 kilograms, so it's super lightweight. It is very stiff and yes, it is safe. So Urban has all the certificates you need as a manufacturer to produce bicycles and to sell them. Urban did choose the e-bike motion motor from German manufacturer Male. Usually they produce parts for the cars. It has a torque of 40 Newton meter, which is really nice and it's in the rear hub. So it is the very fantastic tailwind and it feels like someone is pushing you. It's very agile, it's very natural. I love this motor. And it comes, of course, with a battery and the battery is in the down tube. It has 250 watt hours, which gives you a range of up to 80 kilometers. As you can see, there is a range extender here in the bottle and the battery has another 208 watt hours. When you ask me, when you live in the city, you don't need a range extender. You just um, cycle for a couple of days and then you have to charge the bike. When you have to charge the bike you have to bring the bike to the socket there is a little plug down here and you just put in the cable and it takes not very long and the battery is charged again what i really love is you have a little remote here on the handlebar where you can choose the three different modes of assistance of course all the guys i know they always have the turbo so you're like super fast and um, makes the most fun. You turn on the bike when you push the little button here and this button also shows you how the battery is charged. It's a bit like a lightning system. Green is the battery is fully charged. Orange is it's somewhere in the middle and red and red and blinking is you really have to charge your bike. The remote is also important to turn on the lights and the lights, I love it, are integrated in the handlebar and in the seat post. Um, devices from light skin. Let's talk about parts and accessories. They did choose Ergon uh, parts, the grips and also the saddle. The saddle is a gel saddle, sportive, stiff but not too stiff, gives you a little feeling of comfort. Also as you can see it's optional to have mud guards to keep you dry and safe and also a very steady rear rock when you want to carry some bags. And a very important detail as you can see, the Gates carbon belt drive. The belt drive lasts three times longer than a regular chain and needs no attention at all. So no oil and your trousers will always be clean when you ride the bike. The bike comes in two different models. You can choose a single speed like this one here and they also offer a Shimano gear system. It really is a question of um, how you want to cycle. I always prefer a gearing system. Um, but with a motor, if you really need it, I'm not sure. So it's a really, it's a personal decision. And also the disc brakes, very important when you ride an e-bike, come from Shimano. They did choose very special, very slick urban tires, the Urban Grand Prix from Continental. 
they're a bit slippery sometimes when it's just started to rain but uh, yes, you always have to take care when the conditions on the street are a bit tricky. Male and the e-bike motion motor they also offer an app with different information like the speed, the distance, navigation system and all the information you need to make this e-bike here uh, to a smart bike. The nice thing is Orvan integrated a little cockpit here so you can easily place your phone here, have the, all the information you need and you're not distracted, have one hand not on the handlebar with, with your phone. So that's a very nice detail I highly appreciate. And uh, the plot social me we're going on a test ride now. Woohoo! This bike is so much fun. I really love it. The acceleration is just fantastic. The motor supports you really good. You easily reach the 25 kilometers and you can go faster, so nothing stops you. And you can choose between different ratios with the um, sprockets. So that's really nice, really, you can individualize your bicycle. I also appreciate the platform paddles, they give you a really nice grip. So fantastic bike, so much fun. Well, this bike is really, really so much fun. And when you choose this bike, I give you an advice. Always take some extra time because people want to talk about this bike. When you stop at a red light, it's, um, yeah, you're definitely an eye catcher. Um, this bike is available in five different frame sizes and seven different colors all very special colors uh, colors matte and metallic colors and the price is also very special because this bike costs 4500 euros that is quite an amount but if you choose a very sustainable bicycle a very special bicycle then this could be the choice for you when you have the different accessories on top, like the mud guards, the rug, also a GPS tracker, so you don't have to worry too much about um, your bike that could get stolen, then you can easily reach the 5,000 euros. But this bike is fun. I love it. I love the design. I love really the story and the two guys behind the bikes. And I would definitely give my thumbs up. I would be happy if you like this review. Also give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and if you want to check out our Instagram account.